So, due to the thief stealing my catalytic converter on Christmas Day around lunchtime, I finally broke down and decided to buy my first Tesla. So this wasn't some spur of the moment, out of nowhere decision. I've actually been following Tesla since 2008 when they were working on the original Roadster. Then when they came out with the Model S with unlimited supercharging, I even considered moving out of the house, living in the car, and just working mobile all the time. I continued holding off through the Model 3 and Model Y releases. Then when the Cybertruck was revealed, I was like, this is the one. It has everything I need. There's no paint. I don't need to worry about cleaning it. Um, there's six seats. There's a lot of storage in the back for carrying all the stuff I need. I can turn it into a nice mobile office. But no, Mr. Steal Your Catalytic Converter over here ruined my plans and made me have to get a car earlier than anticipated. So I weighed my options and decided to go with the Model Y. So I decided to go with the long range version because the performance model forces you to go with the low profile tires which are more prone to damage from potholes, reduces your range, costs more to replace, and why do I need that much speed anyways? As for the color options, there were two free colors, let's call them white and gray. I liked gray better so that's what I went with. I already went over all the downsides of the larger 20 inch wheels so we'll just leave it at that. Now, I didn't really need a tow hitch, but I figured it'd be handy in the future, so I figured why not. So for the interior, I went with the white option because the black has a wood strip across the dashboard that I didn't like. It reminds me of those old cars and vans with the wood paneling. And then I also like that in the summer, it doesn't get as hot. And then also I've seen that um, they actually clean up really well, so I wasn't too worried about them getting too dirty or stained. So for the seating option, I went with the 7 seat interior because I saw that they fold flat for large objects and also um, it allows a little more flexibility with the movement of the middle row. Alright, so autopilot comes standard with all Teslas, but the full self-driving capability is an additional $10,000. Um, here you can actually see what uh, the full self-driving package does. Uh, of course, it's not 100% right now but it will get better and better as time goes on as the system learns so keep that in mind don't trust it 100 percent right now it's more there to be like a helpful um somewhat like a backseat driver but it actually can drive for you so it's not just telling you and being annoying it actually does drive for you and help you um it does a lot of things that a lot of people don't realize um, I drove my friend's car when he was uh, doing the subscription and it does things like if you're sitting at a red light and the light turns green, it'll actually send you an alert and things like that. There's a lot of features that it's actually really good. So, and also I'm looking at it towards the future, not just how it's working right now. So I felt that it's a good investment if for some reason the car's not really being used and they do happen to come out with that taxi service, then I can actually make money on the car. Um, but yeah. All right, and now for the part that hurt, the price. So here you can see the breakdown of the cost of the car if you were to pay it out in full. And then once you click to submit the order, you pay 250, and then they'll tell you this, your order is confirmed. And they sent me a picture of a hedgehog. All right, so after that, it'll tell you to prepare for delivery. It'll ask for pictures of your photo ID and things like that, ask for your address and other contact information, and then it will give you this, next steps, it'll show up on your Tesla account like this, again I was planning to get a truck as well. Then comes the part where they kick you in the nuts and reveal all the DMV and government mandatory fees. These aren't Tesla's fees so it's not their fault, but I kind of wish they would have showed that before the... Um, non-refundable $250 charge. All right, so basically after that, then they will tell you the next steps um, of how you will get the car and things like that. So you can just read over all of that. And then they will show this on your account with the estimated delivery. So as you can see, my estimated delivery time is July, hopefully sooner rather than later, because currently I'm depending on borrowing my friend's Model 3 at the moment, and then every so often driving my brother's car when he doesn't need it. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully you read over all the full self-driving stuff, if you haven't already, so you can know what that's all about. 
And then also, if you have any questions about Teslas and stuff like that, this may be my first Tesla I'm buying. But I actually do a lot of reading about Tesla and stuff like that, watching videos. So I actually know a lot more about them than people that have even driven them for like hundreds of thousands of miles. It's pretty funny. All right, and that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys will see me driving around in my new Tesla pretty soon. And hope to see you guys in my future videos. All right, that's it. Bye. All right, so I didn't reach the eight minute mark for this video. Um, that YouTube requires for, I know, sorry, but I, I need to make some money to help pay for this car. <laughs> so I'm going to make it eight minutes long, uh, filled with nonsense, just so that I can get more ads in between the video. Yes, that's how you get more ads in your video. If your video is shorter than eight minutes, then um, basically you don't get ads in the middle of the video. So that's why, as you've seen, a lot of people's videos are more than eight minutes. Usually people will think it's 10 minutes, but it's actually eight minutes. So we're just going to fill up the rest of the video with uh, maybe some ice vehicle emission sounds. All right, so here we go. <laughs> sounds like that car died. Let's try another one. <laughs> Man, that one died even faster. Let's try one more. All right, all right, I'm sorry. That That's enough of those gas cars. So now you can listen to the sound of an EV. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, that's the end of the video. You can stay if you want, but it's just going to be this picture for the rest of it. All right, see you guys. Bye.